Hello, hey, what's up? How's everyone doing today? This is Kiko and in today's video we're going to be looking at some My Hero Academia characters. So this time around we're going to be looking at the My Hero Academia female characters as if they were male characters. In my previous video we looked at the male characters as female characters so this time we're switching it around. Now keep in mind that unlike the male characters fans don't really draw the females as boys because no one really cares to see like girls as boys but a lot of people out there want to see the boys as girls so I did find some artwork but it was really hard to find and some of the artwork isn't that great so you know just keep in mind alright so let's look at the first character and the first character is gonna be Ochako Uraraka I think that's how you say her name uh, hopefully I'm not pronouncing it wrong so here's two pictures of her as a boy the one on the left you know I think that's a pretty good representation of her as a boy um, she still has like that short hair going on and then the little um, dots underneath her eyes it still kind of looks like a girl but I mean I guess it's good enough so I'll I'll probably give this like a B, you know, just like an average B. The one on the right looks more like a boy, but you can't really see her face or his face because he's closing his eyes. So, I mean, there's that picture. And as you can see, like in his arm is um, the female version of Midoriya. So, you know, that's a pretty cool picture in my opinion. What do you guys think? All right, so next up, we got a picture of Asui. Now, this character is my favorite character of the series. Like, it's the girl with the frog powers. I don't know, there's something about her I really like. I don't know if it's her voice or like just the way she looks, her character design, but she's definitely my favorite character. And this is how she would look like as a boy. So both of these pictures, I think they're pretty awesome. They look good. So the one on the left has many similarities to her as a girl. Like he or she in this picture is still short. Um, still has like the big old eyes. So it looks like a male version of her. Like I definitely approve of this picture. But I like the one on the right slightly more because if she were to be a boy i would also imagine her a little bit taller you know more masculine the one on the left still looks kind of feminine the one on the right looks more masculine so if i had to choose i would go with the one on the right but you know let me know what your guys' opinion is which one do you like better all right so next up we got yao yorozu it's a really long name i hope i'm saying the name right but this is how she would look like as a boy the picture on the right it looks like the artist took the picture out of the anime and just kind of edited the features of the character so she would look like a boy so i mean that one it's cool it looks like you know it's from the anime so that's how that looks like and then the one on the left that one is also cool um, personally I like the design on the left because you know this character Yao Yorozu is more like a mature older character and the picture of her on the left looks like that upperclassman guy you know that knows what he's doing knows what he's talking about so I definitely would go with the picture on the left but you know which one is your guys's favorite you know let me know drop it in the comments all right next up is Jiro and this picture is also the same art style as the previous picture of Yao Yorozu and I definitely gotta give this one an A+. Jiro is that girl with the earphone sonic sound power and right here it looks straight up like a boy like he looks chill you know ready to fight. I definitely approve of this one you know A+. Uh, I got no complaints here. Alright so following Jiro we have Mina Ashiro. So this character you know it's that one girl that looks like kind of like a beast um, with a pink skin pink hair and very similar to Jiro she does not have a lot of fan art about her either so she's also not a very popular character this was the best picture I could find of her and it still looks like a girl I feel like the features could have been changed more because if you remove the body it looks exactly like her like there isn't really that many changes so I mean this is how she would look like um, I don't really like the picture I feel like it could be done way better but I don't know you know what do you guys think like do you think it looks like a boy I don't know so there's that one all right so now here we have a fan favorite this character is the female villain of the league of villains and it is Himiku Toga now surprisingly there is a lot of fan art of this character and there's even more fan art of this character than there is of uh, Uraraka. So this character is definitely popular and here's some pictures of her as if she were a male character. Both of these pictures are both awesome. Um, I don't really have any complaints. I like the one on the right slightly better if it had like more um, details. Well, maybe not more details, but if it looked more like an animation instead of like a drawing. Um, so I would definitely choose the right one as my favorite one. But the left one also looks good. Let me know what you guys think, you know, drop a comment. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the final set of pictures and the final set of pictures are going to be group 
pictures. And the first one is gonna be of Ashiro on the left side, Yao Yorozu in the middle, and Jiro on the right side. Now, right here, the picture of Ashiro on the left side, the, the girl with the pink hair. Um, this picture of her as a male looks way better than the one I showed you guys previously, because this one actually does look like a boy. And then, you know, Yao Yorozu looks straight up like a chill guy, like he's ready to get out there and kick some ass. And then um, Jiro also looks like a badass. So this picture right here, overall awesome, no complaints here. And yeah, let's go on to the next one. So right here is a picture of the whole female gang of the My Hero Academia school. It's only missing the invisible girl, Toru Hagakure. I guess you could say she's in this picture in the background somewhere, but you can't really see her. So here's all the characters as male characters. Some of the pictures are better than others. They do look like guy characters, but they still, uh, it just feels like it could be better. Like they could have like more masculine features. I don't know, there's something off about it. Um, let me know what you guys think. You like it? Um, could it be done better? You know, drop a comment. All right, and the final picture we're gonna look at today is one of my favorite pictures, and it is of the whole female gang drawn as males. So here they are, all of them. Um, we even have the invisible girl Toru Hagakure on there, and all of them overall do look like boys. Unlike the previous picture, right here they do look like boys. Now um, I think right here it's just a good representation of how all of them will look like as boys. And yeah, it's just like something neat to look at, and I got no complaints about it. Definitely the seal of approval. So yeah. Those were the pictures of like the female My Hero Academia characters drawn as male characters. What did you guys think about them? Did you like them? Did you dislike them? You know, drop a comment, let me know. And if you wanna look at my previous video of the male characters drawn as female characters, then I suggest you go check it out because those pictures were a lot better in my opinion. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.